Hi, I'm Meredith Harris with the Marlboro Economic Development Corporation, also known as MEDC. And I'd like to welcome you to the special edition of our virtual newsletter on location in downtown Marlboro, geared towards keeping everyone informed about all of the city happenings here in Marlboro, Mass. I'll go over business news, school news, and overall city news for the past few months. And I'll also fill you in on exciting events and opportunities coming up right here in Marlboro. Over the past two months, the MEDC and the City of Marlboro have continued to stay busy while enjoying all the summer has to offer in our great community. Here at the MEDC, during our live video podcast, we welcome three distinguished guests to talk about all things Marlboro and economic development in general. State Representative Danielle Gregoire joined us, as well as Greg Bunn with Mass Hire Metro Southwest and Jason Pallich from the 495 Metro West Partnership. During these episodes, we touched upon the importance of regional economic development, received an update from the State House, and learned more about the current state of the job market. The podcast is intended to explore economic development and give our followers and anyone interested in our community a platform to engage with us directly and answer questions about economic development. Links to these episodes can be found in the description below. And to join the conversation live, please visit our YouTube or Facebook page at 10 a.m. on the first and third Wednesday of every month. We also released a new episode in our Marlboro Hidden Gem series where residents nominate and vote for their favorite hidden gems within the community. This time, Om Nam Vietnamese was recognized as a favorite for Asian cuisine in the city. We are very excited to announce that we launched an updated version of our website where you can find information about our organization and the city in a clear and concise manner. We visited Polar Park to represent Marlboro for a panel discussion with other economic development folks and business leaders from the Central Mass region during Mass Econ's Central Mass Spotlight and worked with the Marlboro Regional Chamber of Commerce and Mass Hire to present an in-person hospitality career fair in Marlboro. In business news, we were excited to see the Women's Imaging Center at Marlboro Hospital recognized as a Breast Imaging Center of Excellence as they received accreditation renewal for the next three years. Cytiva announced plans to invest $1.5 billion over two years to meet the growing demand for biotechnology solutions, and Boston Scientific announced FDA clearance for a single-use bronchoscope designed for use in bedside procedures within ICUs and operating rooms. Hologic announced a partnership with the Oprah Winfrey Network to combat health disparities by providing culturally competent health information, research, and care pathways for black women. And Boston Scientific was named a leading company for the third consecutive year by the Seamount Inclusion Index for their commitment to fostering a diverse, equitable, and inclusive culture. Congratulations are in order as the Green District broke ground on Cimarano Drive in July. This project will bring 475 residential units to Marlboro in multiple phases and will include many modern quality of life amenities for residents to enjoy. For our small and local business owners, Atlantic Poke, Shea Siam, and La Barretta's all had visits from the Phantom Gourmet to showcase their establishments and food. We would like to remind you there are still funds available through the MGCC Micro Enterprise Assistance Program, and we will be running our Be Local campaign for the next few months. Information on eligibility for the grant and how to win prizes while supporting our local businesses through Be Local can be found in the description below. In city news, Mayor Vigent continued to give updates to the City Council regarding progress on COVID and vaccines in the city, stating that by the end of August, close to 70% of the city will be fully vaccinated. The city and the Board of Health continue to make vaccines available in unique ways by teaming up with local businesses and offering pop-up clinics at city events. Mayor Vigin announced that the 69th Labor Day Parade will be back this year and Marlboro's community health heroes will be honored as Grand Marshals. The Marlboro Police Department's Youth Academy held two sessions this summer. This program serves a large group of incoming 7th and 8th graders where students learn about various police operations, such as criminal law, motor vehicle law, CPR, first responder training, team building, drug recognition, SWAT teams, firearm stimulation, and police canines. Mass Hire sponsored 11 high school students through the Youth Works program during their summer break, and the students were employed at the City of Marlboro's Information Technology Department, Public Housing, Conservation, and the Public Library to gain skills and experience. Just over a dozen college level students participated in the city's public service internship program. This is an annual program offered by the city for college students to intern for a city department during the summer months. Throughout the heat waves of the summer, the Marlboro Senior Center has been operating as a cooling center for those needing a place to safely beat the heat. And finally, in city news, 
Local and state officials gathered to celebrate 33 acres in Marlboro, recently being purchased jointly to expand Callahan State Park, ensuring public access to the full trail network and preservation of important natural areas. In school news, 30 students from AMSA had the opportunity to connect with peers from a high school in the south of Japan to discuss cultural differences and similarities. Also at AMSA, the 2021 state champion girls tennis team was honored at a pre-game ceremony at Fenway Park. Assabet Valley received $358,000 through a skills capital grant to purchase healthcare equipment and create several simulation labs to train students and adult learners in the skills needed for entry-level jobs in healthcare. Coming this fall, Assabet will introduce a brand new workforce development and career education initiative. The Assabet Technical Institute will educate adult learners who are unemployed, underemployed, or looking for a rewarding career change. Marlboro Public Schools celebrated their K-12 citywide art show, which was on display at the Walker Building, and partnered with the DPW to bring a touch-a-truck event to the Early Childhood Center summer camp. MPS also announced they are proud to continue offering free breakfast and lunch to students for this upcoming school year. And the Masonic Teacher of the Year ceremony took place honoring the Instructional Technology Specialist Team and teacher Kate Olson for going above and beyond in a challenging year. Coming up in Marlboro, there are several events taking place, most of which will be right here in our downtown. You don't want to miss this year's Labor Day Parade, the Greek Festival, the Marlboro Food Truck and Arts Festival, or the Movie in the Park, which will be featuring Sonic the Hedgehog on September 10th. Be on the lookout for information regarding an Oktoberfest hosted by our three breweries, and please make sure to check the city's Facebook page for rescheduled Union Common concerts. You can find links with information on all of these stories and more in the description of our YouTube video. We also encourage you to like and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our new content that we're working hard to provide for you. Thank you for joining us here at MEDC for this month's edition of Marlboro City Happenings. And whether you're a resident or a visitor, a small business owner, or an employee of one of our large corporations, or maybe you're someone who's just interested in our community, we want to hear from you. You can visit our website, send us an email, or give us a call. You can also follow us on social media at Marlboro EDC, where we focus on sharing and creating content especially designed with Marlboro in mind.